In the second part of the walk, we make our way up from Wind Gap over to Scope Fell and then complete the short walk down to Steeple. From here, we retrace our steps and then head off across the fell to claim our next waymice of the day, Red Pike. From here, we make our way down to Ubarrow, which is quite a descent, and then eventually head up to its flat top. There are excellent views over Wass Water. Once we reach the end of the fell, it's another significant down until we reach the road. From here, you can enjoy a shore walk along the banks of the Wass Water and onto the car park or pub once again. We are coming up on two more Wainwrights now. So Scope Fell and Steeple, both good Wainwrights and uh, deserve their place in the book in my view. So we'll have a look at the views of those. And then we'll head over. We've got to go down to Red Pike and then New Barrow. So we are Wainwright heavy today. Uh, I was reading comments on this walk and a lot of people have ditched off before you barrow at the end so interesting to see what my legs are doing a little later on. Oh <laughs> yeah, or Alison's. <laughs> this is back to a fairly grassy walk going up and the ascent you can see there's quite gentle. So scope fell just up here then we're taking the ridge along to the end to steeple. Oh, in the Wainwright books it says that steeple was named by shepherds, but a better name couldn't be found by men of letters because from certain angles, it does look like a spire. Um, he says in the book, and he does draw it, he says instead of a spire like that, it kind of goes like that, but obviously if you look at it from certain angles, it does look quite sharp. And this is one of them, so there it is. We're on a bit of a mix today between these like boulder fields and some grass. So <laughs> it's a varied walk. This doesn't go on too long and uh, the boulders are actually quite big. So that looks a bit intimidating. It's actually all right. Right, get up to the wall now. So when you get to the top, you see this waltz side. Why is there a wall? Well, interesting question. About to find out. What are they keeping behind this wall? A load of rocks. <laughs> I guess it's a farmer's boundary, but I don't, I don't really know. Well, we have to cross over to this. There we go. I'm inside the wall. And there is our little view down to Steeple. It's our approach there, a few sheepies in the distance. So we'll get to the cairn at the top here is generally accepted as the top. Then we're working our way just over there to the end of the ridge, which is steeple. This is the top of Scope Fell. The highest point to me looks like it's behind, but according to <laughs> all trails, it's this there. Look at this extensive cairn someone's built. Boop. <laughs> anyway, yeah, impressive. Right, so just down there to steeple and then Heading back here, then we'll find our way to Red Pike. It must be, the wall then, must be a boundary to keep sheep on this side. <laughs> I don't think it's a very effective wall, is it? <laughs> yeah, he's got some some wire out, it's going to do another one. Very clean, aren't they? they are clean. Not like they've been trimmed. Yeah. One polluted sheep. Oh. <laughs> they seem to have noticed us in quite a scary way. <laughs> on the way to Steeple then. 
bit of a severe drop off down there. But this one is out on its own. So Wainwright's included it really for the view. Look at that, you can see the level of cragginess on these. Crag level 10. What do you think of the walk so far? Good, I like it. Good, isn't it? Yes. Nice little... Calf burner. <laughs> <laughs> Calf burner, yeah, it is a bit, it's a bit up and down. Yeah. But it's a good one. Right, so off we go to Steeple. And that was the other way he described it in the book as like a bit more of a upside down tick. But you get that if you're coming from the Endale water side. The walk over is actually quite a steady path. I know it looks well, it's a bit of a <laughs> steep off, but actually it's all right as a path. It's probably about five feet wide. Like a lot of things today, <laughs> it's just going to go down and up. And you can just see the summit cairn there. Right, so we kind of walk over here. It's more direct routes, but taking this one. It is the sort of teeny tiniest of summits this. <laughs> There's not a lot to it, so this is the summit cairn here. And then we get a massive drop off. What do you think about that? Good. Good view in it. Yeah. You don't get lost on here, will you? <laughs> no. Right, so from here, we're going to go back up to Scope Fell and then work our way over there towards Red Pike. It's a good walk this, it is long, but you know, there are some taxing bits and then some flat bits, so it's a bit of a mix. It's a good day out though. Oh, it's a bit tricky. Uh, the off is a little bit tricky so just watch yourself it's another way right in the bag though so we've managed to do three so far and then got another couple coming up pretty much heading back across the same ground because it's only an out and back and then I'm gonna start heading over to Red Pike so that'll be our fourth way right of the day. Should be a good one. Then down to Ubarrow. It's about four o'clock now. I think we'll have light till at least seven. And it'll start to fade. So um, the last bit of this, if you do it this way around, is on a road. So as long as you're down, that's safe enough. So that's why I've chosen to do it this way around because uh, if I do get fairing light, I'm already sort of in the valley floor. Right, let's get going then. Just looking over there, see uh, the big pudding there, which is Great Gable, in the distance. You have seen Close Encounters? Yeah. <laughs> it looks like that. <laughs> Sticking up. these crazy sheep again. <laughs> We're heading towards Red Pike. Not the Red Pike you don't like, Go the on. other one. <laughs> <laughs> the one's got that scrabbly up. Uh, so we're going over here. It's a bit of a bouldery, fieldy, grassy situation again. So mix of grass and boulders, but it's okay. Uh, update wise, I'm feeling all right. Not too bad. Alison's feeling all right. So yeah, if you pace yourself on this, and you're used to walking, then it's a good one. It's not for beginners, like, but uh, if you've got some experience and you kind of have a reasonable fitness level, then you should be able to get around it in good time. We started off a bit later than I wanted to, really, about 11 o'clock. 
Uh, so ideally start nine, but down at the bottom near the inn, you can camp there in the field. You don't need to book it and it's six quid to go in there. So, you know, pretty good. And then you can also park a camper van down there and they've got showers and toilets as well. So yeah, you don't have to go down to the official campsite because I had a little look at that and you had to book two nights because it's a National Trust one and they've got this thing where you have to book two nights so it's like 60 odd quid um, and it's a bit much if you only really need one. So I had a look around, the pub, six quid, ideal. The descent's quite easy, it's a gentle path, a little bit uh, bouldery and grassy and then it's the same going up so it's quite a gentle finish to this. Then we'll be over to U Barrow and that is a fairly steepish down but it is steady so it should be fine. Sun's still got a bit of heat in it so that's good and uh, that's Scope Tarn just down there. So we're going up here across the top down, U Barrow, and then down again. Just doing the ascent now up to Red Pike, and some of the uh, some of the fells and lake districts they are kind of say what you see. So on this one. Steeple is kind of like that from an angle. Equally great gable, looks like a gable end from a certain angle. Um, red Pike, the other one, is red on top because it's got the red screw coming down. But this one, not so much. <laughs> it's kind of green and grey. So not quite sure it's called Red Pike, but I'm sure someone will tell me in the comments. <laughs> All these in this region are quite craggy with a steep off. It's kind of the volcanic region of the lakes. So get some dramatic scenery going around. Hello sheepies. It's got quite a view out. We've got Scope Tarn there, shimmering at the bottom. And then in the distance on the horizon, the majestic Sellafield nuclear plant. One of our last ups to Red Pike. It's cracking views all around again, I tell you. If you want a, a ridge walk, good views, this is it. Really good. <laughs> Came up the route here at the bottom. Head up Black Sail Pass. Across the tops, over to Pillar. And then we're down the other side towards Steeple. Back across the tops here. And now we're at Red Pike, just there. Then we're over to U Barrow. It's a big one in terms of distance, but yeah, it's quite a rewarding one. Uh, you're going to need to have a sort of day with about eight hours sunlight in it. So if you're going into autumn, just keep your eye on it. I've got head torches in my bag because I wasn't sure what was going to happen. So best to be safe on that one. All right, but the end of this anyway, it is a road walk. So for the last half an hour or so, um, I'm not going to be in any mountain danger. There it is, Red Pike. Boop. <laughs> That's quite a drop off, look at that. Well. Another one done? Yeah, another one done.
This is the walk for us. Then we're over to, we're just over to you, Barrow, over there. <laughs> the walk over to you, Barrow. It's a little bit of a distance, and that'll be our last way right of the day. This is the walk going across. It's uh, a little bit marshy. It's not marshy for us today, but you can tell by the grass it would be. So a little stony outcrop again. Then we're going to head down the other side. As we head down here, that's you, Barrow, just in front. So, walking the flat top after the little up. And then it's down the other side. You can just catch the edge of wasp water there. And that's what we're gonna do. And it's a shore walk across back to the car. And the pub. Some sheepies there as we're heading our way down. Wasp water just shimmering in the distance. This down's probably the scrub. <laughs> this down's probably the scrubliest bit we've done so far today. It's all sort of small pebbles, so it's a bit sketchy. <laughs> so yeah, so watch it coming down. You probably have tired legs at this point as well. So yeah, just be a bit careful. <laughs> Soon be over to you, Barry, though, and then we're going to get great views over Wass Water. There it is. The closer you get, the bigger it seems. <laughs> We're getting up to you, Barrow, now. And as you get closer, you realise there's one more challenge to do for the day because there's quite a climb to get up it. It's not a walk up it, it's a bit of a scramble. So that's our last challenge. We'll have a go at that, see how it is. So it's a bit of a surprise ending for us. No matter what you do, you are gonna be walking to that point and then you're gonna have to take the scramble up and go across the tops. So, that should be interesting. This bit of now where you first see the down, it's uh, 620 meters, and it's gonna drop down to the base there, and that is about 500 meters or so. And then we're gonna head straight up the other side. There we go, it is a notable down, so you are gonna tell you're doing it for sure. Just need a bit of concentration coming down, because it's a little bit bouldery, you can use your hands. Way. Caught you, you're it. <laughs> it does feel like quite a big down this. Uh, <laughs> that's because it is. So I've done quite a lot of it, but maybe about 40 metres or so to go. And then you hit the plateau, then you can start the ascent to the other side, which looks like a bit of a climb. Uh, <laughs> should be fun anyway. So we're just considering the options. I'm definitely going to go around. Um, Alison might pop off straight to the pub <laughs> and I don't blame her for that. <laughs> uh, I've gone to the grassy bit now, so it's okay. But it's probably maybe the longest one to come down off. And it's got that really small shaley stuff at the top, so you can slip a little bit. Uh, there is a ditch off point for here, so if you don't want to do you barrow when you get to it, you can actually just nip off. So a lot of people probably got this far in the walk and thought, uh, no. <laughs> Read a few comments before I came to do this today about the walk, and a lot of people said, went round, really good walk, but we just missed off you barrow at the end, which is understandable at the end of quite a long walk, because you've got to do the climb up, go across the top, and a uh, steep down at the other end. So, you know, you can sort of get out if you want to. Maybe do you barrow on its own another day? What do you think about you barrow? It's too big. It's too big. <laughs> it should be at the end of a walk, it should be at the beginning. Right, it should be at the beginning of the walk. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, well, I'm going to go up it and then I'll go across the top and down the other end and then go around the road walk and then I'll meet you in the pub. Yeah. That's all's getting to it. Bit of an ominous climb. But you know, I think I've got at least an hour of daylight left, so enough time to get up there, cross the top, down. Then if I do finish on the path and lose light, that's fine. I've got a torch. <laughs> yeah, down there. You go in. <laughs> Charming. <laughs> Alison's gonna go down here. 
take the lower level route. I'm going to go up here and across the tops. We have got walkie talkies between us, so uh, we'll be in contact and I'd suggest you get those because I'd kind of thought you might not do this last bit. I'm not saying anything like but <laughs> We did talk about it before and say, you know, there is a, a ditch out option if you want to use it. So I've got the walkie talkies. I'll put an equipment list in the description. So if you want to see what they are, uh, then you can just go on that. Right, let's get uh, walkie talkied up. <laughs> Bye, Alison. <laughs> Right, mountain for us then. Up we go. <laughs> There's a couple of ways up here I can see. Uh, one is going straight forward and one is this path here. So I think I'm going to take the path nearest to me and head up. Obviously, if you're on your own, then I really wouldn't advise this. <laughs> so make sure you've got some form of communication with you in case you get in trouble. There's the odd person knocking about, actually, because uh, some people are out camping. So I don't think I'm totally isolated, but I'm also not guaranteeing seeing people. So just be cautious on the way up. <laughs> it looks a bit more severe than it is this climb. I'm probably on the camera, it might look a bit severe, but actually, if you've got a good level of experience, it should be totally fine, he says. <laughs> Sun's coming down though, the uh, shadow's lengthening. Getting to the climb a bit now. I've really enjoyed the day, so if you've enjoyed the video, it helps me to click on the like. And if you want to see more of these when they come out on a Sunday, if you click on subscribe and you put your notifications on, then you'll just be told when they come on. If you are subscribed to the channel, then if you can just let me know what time you get your alert that I've got a new video on because they come out at five o'clock on a Sunday as you'll know but on Alison's one she gets the alert at seven it's like two hours later so interesting to know why that is and if it's happening to you as well all right but just let me know in the comments let's get up this then so our climb it's got some of this sort of loose-ish rock on it so it's a little bit of a one to be cautious about. It's pretty steep. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually enjoying doing this though. As the sun goes down, just gives a nice close to the day. Just want to point out, so I'm coming up here and we're doing absolutely fine. It's worth pointing out though, you can track across it here and that's like a gradual path going up. So if you're not up for the steep climb, then go for that. But for me, I'd rather just get up. I saw this in somebody else's video and they were using a fisheye lens to make it look, you know, distorted and more scary, but it's actually fine. The path's probably about two or three feet across and it just sort of winds up. Right, I'm running out of path and I'm going to scramble territory. We have a cracking view down. So we've come all this way so far. And then that's where we've just come from. But now, just gonna squeeze our way up there. It's covered in both sides. There's no danger of falling off anything particularly, you know, to a valley. So just a bit of a squeeze. Right, here we go then. Alison, this is what you're missing. <laughs> If you did get around all this, just let me know because uh, I see a lot of people ditched off at U Barrow. So I think if you've got a bit of experience, a bit of energy left as well, then this is definitely worth doing. Because this is Wayne Wright, I'm just going to box it off here. Looks like we can go directly here or across that way. So for me, this looks all right. I think can kind of go that way. There's quite a lot of things to grab onto actually. So not too bad if you've done it before. I'm gonna pop that there a sec, cause I'm gonna need my hands and feet. <laughs> the 
there are other ways to come up here. It's not like one route and you must do this. There's several, several options really. Right, so apart from that bit, the rest of this is fairly routine. Let's come up here. There we go. And then we're in a nice little safe bit. It's really just that that's a bit hairy. And then we're up here. But as I say, it's not one for beginners. And do operate within your own limits. I've done quite a bit of this kind of stuff, so I'm not particularly phased, but I'm not going to say it's easy, because if you've not done it before, it's not. Right, that's pretty much what's up. So a bit more of a climb, you can go that way. I'm going to just go up here though. So again, you can avoid the uh, climb if you just want to go gently up the side. But I actually quite like a climb. <laughs> So, I don't mind this at all. Cracking valley view going out. <laughs> Safely up then. I'm gonna continue just to the top, but I'm on a grassy bit now, so. Uh, it's where sheep would graze. So, <laughs> it's not that mad. Certainly wouldn't be grazing on the side there. Although one was. I'm up the top. Got a nice big curve marker to greet me. Then I'm gonna walk on to the other end and down. That's what I'm looking at, going forward. You barrow, it's quite flat on the top. You know, it's what it looks like when you see it from a distance. Steep up, flattish, a little bit of a scoop up at the end, then long down. So it's a good one to do, good one to tick off, but Great views either side. Sun's fading a bit now, but just this to do. Then we're on our way down. So there it is, our final Wainwright of the day. Let's give it a little tap. <laughs> There's the view down to Wasp Water. Right. Doo -doo. We're going to head down now. It's a fairly steady down, and then we're going to loop round to the pub. So let's get finished off. This is down here. So just coming down a little bit onto that extra bubble at the end. Then we're going off. We're approaching the marker for the end of the fell. Then it's just down. So sun is still in the sky but not much. <laughs> so we will get down okay. I might finish the path in the dark, but that's totally fine, I've got my torches. Oh, there we go then, the end of the fell and a beautiful view over Wass Water. Goes without saying really that the down here You've got wast water in front of you all the time. It's a fantastic end to the walk. Then it's just the road walk and we're back to the pub. Getting that sunset light coming through now. This down, it is a little bit technical, so just watch it as you come down. This down is about 500 meters or so. So you'll be doing it for a while. <laughs> it's a cracking view of wast water that. But yeah, as it as it looks, definitely getting to sunset now. Time to get down. You can just see the light catching Ilgil head there on the side. That runs all the way at the side of wast water. And the sun's going down, but so am I. <laughs> and I think I'll be down before it. Uh, 
There we go, nearly down. Up over this stile here, <laughs> startled sheep, and then let's take a more direct route down. There we are, nearly down. Oh, what's this? <laughs> Unnecessary chain. There we are, back to an empty car park. <laughs> but I'm going to the free one down the bottom because it's near the pub. So we'll head down the road, then I'll see you in there. Lakeside shot to finish. <laughs> 